we are currently in a car park if anyone has like a big car you'll understand the stress of going up the car park things every single time sam drives around him i think that he's gonna crash but we have just come to brighton for the day and i thought i'd take you with me either as a weekly vlog depending on how much filming i get today either a weekly vlog or just like i spend the day with us so yeah we're just in brighton we're gonna go to the arcade we're gonna do that um like alphabet dating thing if you've seen it on tiktok like you do like different dates going through the alphabet so it was the a arcade so we're gonna go to the arcade on the pier and then grab or we're gonna grab a nando's first and then do a bit of shopping maybe so yeah hope you enjoy we've come to nando's for some lunch it's like half three no, it's four. Um, but our starter just arrived. We got the hummus with like pay pay drizzle. And I don't know if I've ever said on here, but I was vegan for like eight months, no, six months, eight months, and like veggie. And basically, when I would go to Nando's, I used to always get this, and it's so good. So next time you go to Nando's, get the hummus with pay pay drizzle. It's unreal. And then we just got some Coca Cola. But that's additional to taste test again. How much does you want on? Right, wait, taste test. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yum. We've just been at the arcade. We got we got enough tickets. We weren't trying to get tickets. We got enough tickets for me to get. Um, do you have it? This like sweet thing. So I'm gonna try this on the way home. Little taste test. But we did. Um, what other games did we do? Driving ones. I was absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Oh, is that like self-serve chocolate sauce? No, that's the top of the sauce. Yeah, actually. Dead. Okay. Thank you. I got an ice cream. Thanks. And then we got some. Um, they're not as well, so I hope you see you guys don't come around like us. Mmm, you have some? It's really nice ice cream. Oh yeah, that's good. Very nice. Cinnamon? Oh yes please, cinnamon please. Any sugar? Sugar? Yeah. Yeah please, well, thank, thank you. you. We are on our way back now and I thought I'd give you a mini haul of what we got. We didn't really go to go shopping, so we didn't really get much, but we saw a couple of cute things to get. So first up from Flying Tiger, we got, oh, so I got this personal planner because I just like, I'm not very, really, like, I don't remember really things very well and I don't have a planner for this year. Well, I do, but I kind of used it all up. So I thought I'd grab this because all the calendars is, calendars as well are for 2024 and like I don't want one for 2024 yet I need it from September to December so I've got this like personal plan I thought it was quite like actually quite pretty because all the other ones are like so ugly that I found everywhere so it's just kind of got different things in it like week projects meetings to do that kind of thing and I think that was like five pounds so that was pretty reasonable and then we got some really cute Halloween mugs so I got one that was a lot more aesthetically pleasing than Sam did this oh my god oh yeah i forgot to say we went into house house hotel chocolate yesterday and we got some hot chocolate i'm gonna tell i'll make it at some point and you, you'll be able to see it um but it's like 50 percent. it was 50 percent, wasn't it 50 percent milk chocolate and it, you like melt it in milk and it's like chocolate shavings i had the white chocolate one before and it was so nice it was a bit sickly and then when we were in there they brought out tests of this one and it was so nice so i'll make some of my hot chocolates in this but how cute just like a little ghost mug like so cute and then sam got this really ugly one um it's more halloweeny it's more halloweeny yes but it's just like that just screams boyfriend mug doesn't it like I'm not gonna buy that for myself. Just, but it's cute. These are cute together. Like that is cute with a little marshmallows and cream and stuff. So we got them. That was everything that we got from Flying Tiger. Then we got some bits from Pull and Bear. And I'm not like a shopper. Like it might seem like I am, but I'm really not. Like once I've got something that I like, I will just wear it until it's like 
literally dying on me. I just don't, same with like makeup stuff. If I have no makeup products that I like, I'm gonna stick with them and not try something new, but basically. So I thought I'd buy actually treat myself because something caught my eye, so I thought I'd pick it up. Sam actually bought a hoodie, which I'll show you later because he's actually wearing right now because I've really liked it. I was like, why don't you change your hoodie? So he's got that one on, but it's really nice. So I got this jacket and I love it. Like, I, I never really used to be a grey person. I've got like a full grey outfit on today. This is from Adnola, by the way, if anyone's wondering. But it's this jacket here you can't really see very well here I'll, I'll like i'll put a little clip after this of it on because it's actually really cute and this was it was 49 pounds i thought that was quite expensive for pull and bear i'm not gonna lie but i like it it's nice it fits really well i got it in extra small and then sam picked up wait one sec and sam got this just like white t-shirt kind of basic it says stud on it you're a stud but it's just quite cool. It's kind of like, I feel like it's like a Stussy. Stussy, is that yeah. the brand? Yeah. Dupe. Stussy, Stussy, whatever. But it's really nice. And it was like 12 pounds. Like, yeah, that is cheap as. Really nice. And then last but not least, probably most importantly, our donuts. He actually gave us six. We ordered five and he gave us six. So I hope he has a nice day. But we just got cinnamon and sugar. I feel like you could kind of hear me. I was filming and then he was asking me questions. So I don't even know if I, you could like see anything or hear anything, but. I've already had one, but I'll just give you a little taste test. Mm. Really good. Mm. Really good. Let's ignore the really ugly overhead lighting, but this is the jacket. I don't know how to kind of like stand you up so you can see it. Um, is that fine? Like this is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. Like, I think it's really cool. I'm actually really hot, I don't know why I've still got it on. But yeah, that is the jacket. And I just wanted to say, oh wait, quickly. Have I ever introduced you to Alfie? Alfie, you want tummy tickle? You want your tummy tickled? <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> this is Alfie. He's our dog. He's an Australian Labradoodle. Hey guys. Hey. But I just wanted to say, um, I hit 50,000 subscribers literally like half an hour ago and at the beginning of this year I put some goals like on my notes app and one of my goals was to hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and I remember saying it to Sam like saying I want to hit 5,000 subscribers like I don't really know if it will be like something that will happen like but that's just kind of my goal and I remember Sam saying like and I'd made goals for like other things like with Instagram and TikTok and I remember Sam saying like I think YouTube will be the hardest one to get being like yeah I, th I think getting 5,000 subscribers like it's it's tough like it's really hard on YouTube and the fact that I've just hit 50,000 subscribers like in September I honestly can't thank you enough like literally even if you just watch my videos like a little bit or whatever I just want to say thank you because it's literally crazy to me like I had no like intent no intention but I did not expect to be hitting 50,000 subscribers <laughs> before the end of the year so I just wanted to say a massive massive thank you Alfie's currently sniffing to try and find some socks or something to eat but it's not gonna find anything but yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much I'm getting a little bit emotional but yeah thanks guys love you I also really ran this very quick change of like thing that I'm filming but I got some bits in the post for a, like some clothing bits basically I also a couple of my friends have said that they, I should do like PR unboxing slash like unboxing videos but I don't want it to come across like Oh look at me! Like this is what I got for free. Like I'd ha I really would hate to come across like that. So if you would like like unboxing videos, so I used to love watching like remember I used to watch Jacqueline Hill and like James Charles and all that. Like when they used to do, like massive Avi stop it, Avi. When they used to do like massive unboxing videos and I used to absolutely love it. So if you would like something like that, please let me know. But I just thought I'd show you some things. They're from my outfit online and they're very like Skins GP again. Can you see like where I'm kind of? going with my outfits for autumn but we first up have this short sleeve white top which is so cute like 
I wish you, I always say it's like, I wish you could feel the fabric, like, because the bits that I have, like, it's, I remember I got the, I, the most, blah, 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 most of the bits are navy, and I got the first one out, and I said to Sam, I was like, oh my god, feel how soft this is, feels so good, but this is the first one, I got all these extra small, by the way, and I will show you, like, at some point, a try on, and it's really annoying when I show you guys and don't try them on, sorry, I have seen your comments saying, please try on things when you show them, but, it's like 10 o'clock at night right now and that's like bedtime for me so you're not getting a try on today unfortunately <laughs> i'll put maybe up here what they look like on the model then we got some shorts i think this is so cool i mean i know it is going into autumn but like you still need a short for around the day so it's like these navy shorts then it's like this bandeau top like really cool like i don't really have many things like this so i thought really nice then it's this like long sleeve. You know my obsession with like the long sleeve tight tops with this kind of neckline. This in navy again. Like, can you like actually see how? Oh, you can't really see how soft it is. I wish you could feel this through the screen. They need to invent this, but it's so soft. It's like buttery. I feel like that's the word. Just lovely. And then last but not least, I got this like kind of square necky tank top vibe so yeah i really like those love those actually please ignore the absolute state of my bedroom it's disgusting but i'm currently in the process of packing for spain and realized basically i put every single bit of my summer clothes away so i had to get everything out from under my bed which is hence actually that's not even summer clothes don't know why i'm about to lie that is just clothes i've not put away but i've got one of these bags this is just like a nike bag it's actually sam slash sam's sisters but this bag is perfect for like easy jet hand luggage like you can stuff it full and it still fits so you don't have to worry about them trying to like scam you for like 60 quid to get on the plane so i've got some dresses and then i'm just gonna wear like shorts and tops because it's 30 degrees 30 degrees like we know by now my issue with heat and it sounds so ungrateful is that the word but me and heat just we're not friends so i was expecting it to be like 24 degrees 23 degrees and then maddie said to me yesterday she went you know it's like 30 degrees in spain right now i was like sorry but it's fine heat in england is always worse like i like heat like I can deal with like maybe three degrees hotter in a different country so it'll be fine and I'm so excited now like looking outside I love this kind of weather it is raining it's grey and it's windy but I love that weather but I am kind of excited for the last bit of official summer for me so yeah but I've got a few dresses and this yes it is really badly faked hand stained but it's the bits that you can't see so I've got this dress from mistress rocks i love it so much it's got this really cute like detail on like the bra like cut bits like i think it's so nice so i've got this then i have this one from miss lola i feel like you probably will have seen these all by now like excuse me even on my youtube or on my instagram but this one is from miss lola it's just kind of this like baggy very nice and floaty dress which is perfect for the heat then I've just got this like black maxi dress from Sheen. It's just very easy to throw on. It's like one of the Skims dupes, but it's like eight pounds. Gonna look so see-through though. It's not see-through at all when you have it on, but just like this and it just crosses the back. It's so nice. So putting those in and then I think I'm just gonna go with my super dry shorts. One sec. Just these super dry shorts, just black ones, either just to throw over a bikini, like if we're walking into the town or whatever or then just at night with like a crop top because i think like we're going out for dinner and like one place is like quite nice dresses and then i think the others are kind of just kind of casual vibes also i got um a coffee the other day from costa or some acosta gal for coffees and i thought instead of throwing away the plastic cup i'm just gonna reuse it so i'm now using my little metal straw and for my drinks i'm gonna use this so for bikinis I've got this one from Sheen it's just this like really cute baby blue one with matching bottoms then I've got this band it's quite hard to show bandeau one from Sheen again just like in case I am sunbathing 
just not to get tan lines because I just don't like tan lines. And then just this black one of, um, I think this is from Primark actually, the top and then the bottoms I've got are from Sheen as well. So I do, I don't, I know that Sheen's like kind of bad, but I did buy these ages ago, but they are really good for bikinis. Like if you just want a cheap kind of bikini, but yeah, these are ones and I do, I actually use them every summer. Like I got a couple last year and I'm reusing it. Like this is from like three years ago, maybe even more, four years ago. I have finished packing all my clothes. So I'm not gonna take them out because Sam has very kindly organized everything for me, but I've got black flip flops. I've got white flip flops. Then these are my bikinis. I added two extra ones and I took the brown one out. This is like the bright green one. Then I've got like a khaki one both from Sheen. Then I've got my Skims bra, then I just put uh, a couple like tank tops in while my heart of breath. I get so excited when I start talking on my YouTube. Um, a couple tank tops and then I've got some linen trousers that I thought I'll bring, but it's gonna be really hot. I think I said that already, but I thought I've got enough space, so I might as well put that. And then I've just got to do my hair and makeup bits, which shouldn't take up too much space. But yeah, that's kind of everything that I'm packing. You'll probably see stuff like if I film, like when I film bits in Spain, like in the outfits that you like to see what I'm wearing, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's just everything I'm packing. And then we go to the airport tomorrow. We've got a like two o'clock flight. So we are getting to the airport about half 12-ish, I think. Maybe a bit later than that, but yeah, oh no, maybe it's three o'clock, I don't really know. Anyway, but we've got like time in the morning. I'm gonna get up, do my hair, just so it's like ready for the evening so I don't have to faff around in the evening and then just kind of get on the plane and go. It's been so windy at home. I'm kind of nervous about the turbulence. A bit of a nervous flyer. Like I've been lucky enough to be on a lot of planes in my life and I never used to be scared like at all but the taking off is just like really freaks me out. Like the landing, completely fine with. It's the taking off that I've just got a bit of an issue with. Like I hate, you know, when you go up and then they turn while you're still like going up. Oh God, it really, really freaks me out. Like sometimes you feel like you're literally like stationary. Ooh, I can actually feel the sensation right now. I hate it, but it'll be fine. I'm just about to go and meet one of my best friends from school from school like just one of my best friends um for a little drink before she goes back to uni but i just threw this outfit together you can't really see it it's so cute like i've got this sisters and seekers zip up this just like zara top and then my pretty little thing bl uh, black jeans they're gray gray jeans and i did tidy my room so i'm just gone out so i thought i'd give it a quick tidy so he's like in a good mood when he gets back but actually maybe you can see my outfit a bit clearer in the mirror, let me stand on my bed. So I have, oh, this is a bit better. This is the zip up, so cute. Like literally like that, then the jeans. Just like this, they're nice and baggy. Like these really could be my new favorite jeans actually. And then yeah, there's just this Zara thing and my makeup. Oh, I'm gonna make so it zoomed in. Hello, one sec, how do I get you back? My makeup looks so good. Like this lighting maybe isn't doing it justice, but this is like a good makeup, outfit, hair day. Like, hello. I actually look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I like what I see. But I'm just heading out now. Oh, I've also got my little Miss Lola bag, like the little kind of like Chanel dupe. Um, but yeah, I'm just going out. I don't think I'll film because it's so awkward in front of my friends. <laughs> but also I still haven't, did I say the other day that these flowers were like, dead as I still haven't done anything about them which is really quite disgusting I'm gonna do that when I go back but um yeah this is the outfit of the night and have I ever shown you my phone case on here how cool it's on the case right once oh my god look you can see me it just says daisy on it I think it's so nice that's so like it's actual proper mirror like you can look in it and it's like really good oh I've got a voice note bye um, we're actually in London today. I've been to Spain and come back and please don't hate me, I literally didn't film a single thing in Spain, not even like clips. I was just like, I, know, I felt a bit awkward, not, not that I felt awkward around them, it was that like, 
like they'd take me on a nice holiday and I was like just gonna whip my camera out. So picked it up. We're now at Spitalfield Market. Um, Sam's currently getting his like bun from this place called Dirty Bagels Pulled Pork Specialist. It looks delicious. I'm not really like a pork girl, but if I am, it's like pulled pork um, and like barbecue. So I think this could be like nice for me, but we're going to Junkyard Golf later. Very kindly gifted day, don't really know. Like, so we're going there, um, we've been before, we really liked it. We've been in Manchester and we've been to the London one, which we're going to today. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you along on a nice day out. I'll show you Sam to see when he gets it. Oh, Sam's coming over with his food. Let's get a little taste test. I think I split it Ooh. That looks good. That looks nice. This is the little like business card thing. It's um that place over there. Um, this is it. This is the QR code. I guess you like scan that and go through Instagram or something. But you're gonna try it. I won't show you him. Just like nice, nice. But I like it. Yeah. I'm not having too much now because we're having food at Junkyard Golf, so I don't want to fill myself up and then not be hungry for later. So, <coughs> oh my god. We've come to Blank Street Coffee because I always see Sophia and Chintia and Molly May talking about how nice it is, and it did not disappoint. We were saying we were ranking things on like aesthetics. Um, taste, vibe, overall vibe. So I've gone with aesthetics, blank street, above Costa, Pratt, Starbucks, anything like that. It's just, I love the bold writing. I like, to me, that makes my coffee taste better. Then we've gone Costa for me. I'm a Costa girl for, star for coffee. It's top. And then I feel like Starbucks is actually the bottom. For a frappuccino, Starbucks is the top, but for an iced vanilla latte, which is what I got, it's at the bottom. But while we're sat here, we're like sat at the, um, I don't want to film these random people walking past, so wait one sec. Um, we're sat like at the window seat, like here. So we're having a bit of people watching, and we're just kind of guessing what they're doing with their lives. So when someone walks past, I'm going to tell you what I think. Right. He goes hiking for fun. Him, this guy, yeah. Oh. yeah. You can tell by his stride that he does fun. These two. Are they friends? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Let's go here. Let's go here. here. Yeah. I, can't, I, I can't really assess the vibe. A little bit dirty. <laughs> okay, here. Uh, Okay, wait, the next person that walks past, I'm going to describe what they look like to you. I'm having a bit of a lull in people right now. Here we go. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, these two here, these two here. They started off as a office. Uh, work girlfriend, yeah. work boyfriend, and now they they broke up with their partners to be with each other. The guy is like six foot two, blonde yeah. blonde hair. The woman is shorter than him and curly hair. They look like they were not meant to be together, but now they are. They fell desperately in love. This guy, he doesn't love his wife. <laughs> you can just tell. <laughs> he's not in a happy relationship. No. Okay, oh, uh, no, I can't really assess. Okay, hey, this guy, this guy. He's called Thomas. He's called Thomas. Jared. No, no, he's called Thomas, guys. He's so obviously a Thomas. Do you know I just thought then? I used to, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about this. I used to always tell people that they gave me a vegetable um, vibe. Like, there was one of Sam's friends at, when he was at his old club. He really just gave me parsnip energy. Like, I'd always say to Sam, if he was a vegetable, he would be a parsnip. And like, the specific people, like, when I friends Lily, if you're watching this, Lily, hello. I always say, what do I always say Lily gave me vibes in? I don't know, but I don't think you should be saying this out loud because see how crazy you are. Lily's kind of like 
a white grey. Yeah. Like a bit, ooh. <laughs> she's always smiling. <laughs> she's like a little ray of sunshine, she's a little grey, but like, or you get people that it's like you're just a broccoli, like ooh, you know? Like <laughs> you're a broccoli, I just don't vibe with you. But yeah, it was the strongest energy of passing. This was the first time I kind of really thought about it. And I remember saying, when like I met them, um, when they left, I said something, I just, they literally are a parsnip, like so strong. And I feel like if you're a fruit, I kind of vibe with you more, I think. Do you think? I have no idea what you're about. Do you know? Like, I feel like, like, if it's like a fruit that is like light. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> what are you on about? Or like pomegranate would be a nice one if I described you as a pomegranate. Like this, the woman across the road, she's an aubergine. She's an eggplant. She also follows an organic diet. You can just tell what she's wearing and what she looks like. Like she, she definitely is healthy. This woman I'm looking at right now. The okay. tie dye T-shirt. Tie dye T-shirt. She looks like she has a nice diet. Right, these two. Bright green shirt with blue trousers, and then the guy has a navy top with camel trousers. They have been together for about six years. They met each other when they were a lot younger. And they're kind of witty for the sake of it. Yeah, they're bored of each other. They're bored. They, none of, neither of them look happy. Maybe they're not even together. Maybe they're just like work buddies. Um, this woman here, this woman here, she's so independent. Yeah. Like she has got her shit she together. She left time at 18. Yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. I'm trying to see if she has a ring on her finger. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't need a ring. No, she doesn't care. She doesn't need no man. But anyway, we just sat here um, killing some time before we go and play golf. Um, yeah, I finished my coffee now. Sam got a, what was it, you got a brown, brown shaken. Brown sugar. Yeah. I'll show you the vibes of this place, it's really nice. Um, I don't want to get anyone on camera, so this is like the kind of vibe. It's really cute. It's absolutely boiling. Sam told me to bring this jacket, which is the one that I bought. You don't need to wear it. I own this vlog. Um, but it's like 20 degrees today, so don't really need that. But yeah, I'm going to put my camera down and then we're gonna go to golf. Guys, we're in Junkyard Golf. this and realized I didn't do an outro um it's quite possibly is my worst ever vlog it was just very mismatched but I hope you enjoyed nevertheless and I hope to see my next video but yeah actually I was gonna say <laughs> the one bit of thing that you can see from Spain is these I bought these jogger no trousers is that what you'd call them trousers from Zara they are so nice like the quality is so good like the color everything is a, like i'm obsessed excuse me so go get them from zara because they are literally the nicest things 
ever and they're so just like comfy very like autumnal getting me in the autumn mood even though it's like 24 degrees outside it's literally october like tomorrow is it tomorrow or i don't know what date it is today but it's either october tomorrow or sunday so why is it 24 degrees may i ask not correct don't like it hate it in fact but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe if you did and hope to see you in the next video love you